What's going on YouTube? Jeans here, back again, bringing you guys some more competitive ranked double battles for Pokemon Scarlet and Pokemon Violet, but in today's video, we're rocking out with a deadly team. We got ourselves full metal with Tornado, Shen, Pal, Dragonite, and Urshfu, and Fluttermane, but last but not least, we got the GOAT. We got the brand new Pokemon, we got Cleaver, a nice lovely Cleaver team that you guys can rent for the rank ladder. You guys already know the deal, if you do enjoy the content anytime, make sure you support me as a content creator by leaving a like on today's video, and if you're not subscribed to the channel, click that big red subscribe button so you know when all of my videos go live. But before we get started here with today's team preview, I want to give a huge shout out to the team creator or the person who showcased this team originally, that's plus one. Thank you so much for making a video on this team and showcasing it fully. I will be linking his channel down in the description below, so if you guys want to go check him out, definitely go check him out over there. But uh, we got Cleaver as our first Pokemon for today's team preview, and I always want to use a rank Cleaver team. We used him on the casual ladder, it was phenomenal. Now it's time to use him on the rank ladder, hopefully he does just as good. He's got Sharpness as his ability, holding the Rocky Helmet as his item, and then has Stone Axe, Axe Scissor, Faint, and Quick Guard for its moveset. Really liking that, you got Faint to take off Protects or hit through Protects and get rid of Focus Ash Pokemon, alongside with Quick Guard to stop first turn priority moves. Liking that, liking that, liking that. We're not just going to be our second Pokemon, and like I said, this team is full-blown meta besides Cleaver, so we're going to have a lot of strong Pokemon such as Tornadus. It has Prankster, Mental Herb with Tailwind, Bleak Wind Storm, Taunt, and Protect. Third Pokemon is going to be that Shen Pao. Shen Pao Dragonite, it's OP. It's super, super strong, super tough to deal with. It's going to be great in our hands, so hopefully we get the rock out with it. Grab some wins with it. It's got Multi-Scale, the Choice Band, E-Speed, Outrage, Stomping Tantrum, and Aqua Jet. Nothing you guys haven't seen before. Fourth Pokemon is Shen Pao. Not even going to say anything about this Pokemon considering it is the most basic Shen Pao moveset, build, everything about it. It's pretty normal, but it's just so strong you can't go wrong with it in any team. Urshfu is going to be our fifth Pokemon, and I've been saying this ever since, or actually before Regulation D even came in here. Urshfu is the strongest Pokemon in Regulation D. It has Unseen Fist, alongside with the Choice Scarf, Surgeon Strikes, Close Combat, U-Turn, Ice Spinner. Really can't go wrong with that moveset. Loving this Pokemon so far. Fluttermane is our final Pokemon in our sixth slot, and Fluttermane is still a little bit of a problem on the ladder. Still very, very strong and a great special attack, but I'm absolutely loving this moveset considering Trick Room is so strong. We got Fluttermane with the Imprison and Trick Room to counter Trick Room teams, and then we got Shadow Ball and Moon Blast with the Booster Energy as its item. Guys, you want to rent this team for yourself? Month code is at top right hand corner, but let's get after it. Let's hop on that ranked double ladder. Let's grab some wins with this Cleavor Regulation D team. First match on its way, we're going up against an Illusion Zoroak team, Hisuian Zoroak, so we gotta watch out for that. Can always throw me off, it usually does, but they also got Rillaboom, they got Urshfu, they got Tornadus, and then they got Landorus, and Heatran if I didn't say Heatran already, but who should I lead, how should I go into it? I mean, they could definitely end up leading Rillaboom, like Rillaboom is definitely a viable lead because it could just fake me out and kind of get after it that way, but I'm kind of leaning towards just nice little Tornadus getting after a match that way, or I can go for first turn priority. We have options. We definitely have options here. We definitely have options. And I kind of want to go into the first priority. I think that is our best bet here. We can get things started off hot here. I mean, if they want to go into speed, it could be a little bit of a problem. But again, I think we're fine. I think we are fine. So I'm going to go into the first turn priority. I'm, I am going to bring Tornadus in the back end. And I'm going to go Urshfu for our final Pokemon. I'm going heavy meta right up front. Looking to get things started off here with a big fat W. And uh, get one from there. Get one from there. But I do wonder who they're going to lead to them. Uh, Rillaboom, again, probably a good option. Fake out's a little scary. I might fit, uh, protect my Shen Pao at that point. But it really depends if they end up leading that. And they end up not. So I don't mind this lead. I do not mind. I really do not mind. So they could terrestrialize Heatran. Probably not, right? They're going to keep Heatran on its typing. And I could just go into a stopping tantrum. I actually really like stopping tantrum here. With the choice ban, it's lovely. It's just gorgeous. I'm going to do that alongside with a nice little Ice Spinner. Because he's probably going to tail one here. They're not going to Terrasalize, which is big time. Stopping Cancel is going to do some big time damage, and Ice Spinner is going to KO. Let's see. Oh, will o -Wisp, come on with that. That ain't cool. That ain't cool. That's not cool. That's not cool. So we're choice into this move. I might swap Dragonite for later usage. It's going to be really good. But Ice Spinner is still going to fly. Still do some big time damage, though. Let's go. Big time damage on the board. Stopping Cancel coming in hot here. How much damage are you doing to Heatran? Almost pit it's not even Heatran. You little biscuit. Hate this game. Hate this game. <laughs> Hate this game so much. Hate this game so much. So uh, from here, I might just swap you into maybe Tornados of my own, right? I want to re-choice my move, right? 
I want to re-choice my move. Do I want to re-choice my move? I do want to re-choice my move. And now it's going to be a perfect time to actually swap. So I'm going to swap into Tornadus of my own. And I'm going to throw a Sucker Punch into the Zorg slot. So I'm going to re-choice my move. Of course it's not huge. See, I told you. It throws me off every single time. <laughs> every single time it gets me. Rain Dance pops out here. Are you going for an Aqua Jet? What are you doing with the Zorok? What are you doing with the Zorok? Sucker Punch going to come out here. You're not even attacking with the Zorok. It's failing. What are you going for here? Another will o -Wisp. Kinda hurt my soul, man. Putting poisons on me. Well, not poison. Putting burns on me. So from here, now I can tell when I can choose who, who I want to get rid of. And who do I want to get rid of? I mean, I have Urshfu in the back and I have Aqua Jet with my Dragonite. So the rain's not that big of a problem for me. So from here, I am going to tail one. If he wants to taunt me, that's fine. And I am just going to get rid of Zoroark. I don't really mind him having Tornados on the field. I'm going to go after Zoroark's slot. We'll see what they want to do. Tailwind's going to pop out for me. We'll see their play. Oh, spinner flies. We get rid of this work. So we know they, they have Heatran in the back end. I have Urshifu in the back end alongside with Dragon. That's pretty good for us. That's pretty good for us. And now AC Wind's gonna fly. So great AC Wind from the opponent. Um, probably brings out Urshifu here, correct? Makes the most sense to bring out Urshifu. So yeah, Urshifu's probably gonna come out here. Still got my first turn priority Pokemon with, with Dragonite in the back end, so that's pretty big. We know they got Heatran. I highly doubt they bring out Heatran, right? I mean, they set the rain with Heatran, and they do end up bringing out Heatran. So Heatran is here. Heatran came to play. So from here, I'm just going to drop a Bleak Wind Storm, and how many turns is left in their Tailwind? One. I kind of would like to double down into this thing just get rid of it, but I'm going to go for the Secret Sword here. If my Tornadus can take him out, that'd be big time. That's what I'm hoping. But I really think they go after my Shen Pao more so than anything, right? I say they flash cannon my Shen Pao. I think that that's what the heat trend is doing here. So they slow me down again. Flamethrower. Oh, we're going to stick with the Flamethrower. We might be able to soak that. We don't. But that's totally fine because Bleak Windstorm now lands. It should take out their Tornadus. And then we have speed for pretty much the rest of the match. So that's good. That is lovely. Get rid of Tornadus. And we get the speed drop on Heatran, like that. We like the yield speed drop on Heatran. Um, so Heatran has Grass Terror type, for the most part. Most of them are Grass Terror type. So that's what I'm going to think they're going to swap, uh, Terrasilize into this turn. So I mean, from here, we could just start E-Speeding it. We could. Could. Definitely could. Um, I could bring out you. I think we're gonna end up terrestrialize. Who do I want to terrestrialize? I could terrestrialize you, bring the water, do some crazy damage. But I think I'd rather have this first turn priority ready to go. Because I think with multi scale, we can really get ripping. I mean, normal is just a problem. You know, I'm gonna go into Urshfu here. I am gonna go into Urshfu. So I'm gonna go Urshfu here. I do believe the Terra is gonna come out here from Heatran. Nice little Terra on Heatran. Oh, you got Rillaboom, not Urshifu. Wow, what was the point of the rain then? I didn't really understand the whole rain thing then. I mean, he could fake me out. Um, and do I choice to an Ice Spinner here? I might U turn and just see what he wants to do here. I don't mind U turning the Dragonite. If he try and ends up protecting, that's fine. I'm gonna U turn it out of here. He's gonna fake out. That's fine. I wish we had the Cobra Cloak at this point. So I get the U turn out of here and get a nice little read on what he wants to do. Now I get to bring out Dragonite, and I think we're fine here. Having Rillaboom choice in the back end again. Because I feel as now I can Terrasilize Dragonite and legit just get ripping into this uh, Rillaboom, take it out with the speed, and kind of go from there. But did they use Terra and I just forget? I don't believe they did, right? No, because Zoro didn't Terra. They still have it. They still have it. They definitely still have it. So I get to keep my Tornadus, who's low on speed. And now I am going to Terrasilize in the E-Speed and choice into that. I just think it's the best bet because A, we can do some big time damage on the Rillaboom. And then B, when we get out Urshifu, it's probably going to be alongside of Dragonite. 
So if it wants to terrasalize in the grass, East Speed's still going to be doing a huge chunk of damage. And if it doesn't, then we're just going to Surge and Strike it and take it out. So Solid, solid, solid. We didn't bring out Cleaver this match, but still, I want to start off things with a dub. And this just seemed like the best the best Pokemon to bring in this situation. So we'll see who he's terrasalizing. Is it Roboom? You are going to terrasalize Roboom. That's weird. That's weird. Fire. A fire Rillaboom. Don't understand it, but okay. I think you're better off saving your Terrasalization for Heatran. But East Speed's still gonna fly. I still think this KOs. Right choice, man, stab. Get it on out of here. That's pretty much game. Wrap it up. Because now it's Heatran without Terra, and I can just roll into a Surgeon Strikes once I bring out the Surgeon Strikes next turn. So, good match from our opponent. We're starting things off hot here. I will definitely get out uh, Cleaver in that next match, because I really want to use Cleaver today. Especially bring him for you guys on rank. This team is very powerful. Out comes Flamethrower. No burns. Cool, no burns. They got a sneeze, man. Been sneezing all day. <coughs> Bless me. Thank me. No problem. Alright. Let's keep moving here. My boy's gonna die to the burner, correct? He Did he live on one? Did I sash up? Free focus ash on two. Awesome. Now I just bleak wind storm. Go for the E-speed. I believe our opponent just cancels battle, correct? Yep, and there it is. 1-0 to get things started. Let's hop through a second match. Use Cleaver and go back to back. Second match is here, and I promise you guys some Cleaver action. So I'm going to end up leading this Pokemon. Plus, I kind of like it in this situation. We're going up against a few strong Pokemon like Zapdos. They also got Ting Lu, and then they're rocking out with Fluttermane, Landorus in its other form, and then uh, Tornadus in its other form. Look at that thing. That thing looks sick. It's like a giant hawk. So I'm going to go my Tornadus. I am going to go in with Cleaver. And I think I might bring Urshfu alongside with Fluttermane. Or do I go Urshfu alongside with Shen Pao? I think Urshfu Shen Pao is a little bit better here. I can get down with that. I can definitely get down with that. So we're going to lock it in. We're going to lock it down. Especially because they do have Ting Lu, which will drop special attack on the field. So if I just go into my physical attackers, we'll be better off with these Pokemon anyway. So let's go back to back here. First match was pretty good. We made some good plays. Swapping at the right time. You turning at the right time. Assuming Zorak threw us off a little bit. And I even said it in the beginning. I was like, I know they have this thing. Let's uh, think about this. And I didn't even think about it. I forgot about it. <laughs> and it did me dirty. It did me dirty. Threw me off a little bit. But still, they go Zapdos and they go Tornadus. And you oh my god. Tornadus looks so sick. Looks way cooler in that form. Way cooler. Ten times cooler. Uh, from here, do I Terrasalize? I could go Water, but eh, I don't really like Water. I'm going to Stone Axe when he's put one. And I feel as Stone Axing Zapdos is a little bit better. And then I'll Tailwind up. But I don't really know what that bird does. That Tornadus does. Never really used it. This Tornado is just so much better on the support side. So now we stun. Did I miss my Stone Axe? Are you? Come on, Cleaver! Come on, Cleave! I really missed that. That hurts the soul. That hurts the soul. I really just missed that. That really hurts the soul. My soul is torn. That really hurts right there. I missed that. What's that actually? I think it's like, I think it's like ninety. So I could go into you. I think going into Shen Power right here is going to be the play. That just hurts, man. Come on, man. Do me 30. Should have been some big time damage on the field. Spikes should have been dropped. It would have been awesome. You know what? I'm going for another Stone Axe, and I'm going to Ice Spinner down this slot. Or do I go opposite? Because I would rather... Yeah, you know what? We're going to switch that one up. Because he could predict the uh, Stone move going into me now. I'm going into Zap there. So if I switch it up a little bit... Should be good. Plus, Shen Pao hits harder, and I'd rather hit this Zapdos to take it out. The Ice Spinner coming in through here. This should KO, correct? Get him on out of here. It's a good call from us. We knew Shen Pao was a bit faster. We knew it hit harder. That was awesome. So, we called that out here. A Bleak Wind Storm is now going to fly. I'm fine with that. No speed drops, hopefully. No speed drops? I said no speed drops. So, Nax now lands, which is awesome. And Cleavor just dumping on Tonas. Now setting up Spike. So, if they have any Sash Pokemon, we're just going to get rid of the Sash. Okay, cool. Cool, cool, cool. So Shen Pao's on the slow side right here. Uh, Sucker Punch is probably going to be our best friend. Let's see what they want to do here. Let's see what they want to go into. But that first Stone Axe miss really hurt. They are going to go into Flutter. So Flutter's going to come out here. Oh, this one's going to be tough for us. This one's definitely going to be tough for us. I need to save my Terror type for my Urshi. A choice Scarfed Urshi. Choice Scarf Urshi is going to be your best friend here. Um, hmm. From here, I am just going to Stone Axe the Lando down, and I'm going to try to get off as much damage as I can with Sucker Punch, because I, I need to get off some damage with Shen Pao. If he protects, he protects. That's no big deal. 
I probably honestly should have protected my Shen Pao. Let Cleaver die out and just have my and just have my Urshfu next to Shen Pao. That that should have been the play for me. That was actually I should have thought about that. I definitely should have thought about that because that could have been awesome. That could have been good for me. But this Flutter Mane's definitely gonna harass Lies into Straight Fairy. Correct statement. Very correct statement. Yeah, that that should be my play all day. That should have been my play. But. That's fine. I guess both these guys will go down here. We'll sucker punch you. Doing some nice lovely damage. Not very effective, but still ripping. Still absolutely ripping. So now we're sitting here, and I still feel as I can win this match, right? Both my Pokemon go out here, but just think. Urshifu can hit through Protect, so we're going to take out the Fluttermate next turn. Surgeon Strikes Thrasslides. This thing is probably looking to go for maybe like an air move or something. All we got to do is eat, eat up a shot. Because then after that, my Urshifu will outspeed it, and it will KO that thing. So, Urshifu coming in the back end. Let's clean this one up. Let's clean this one up. Can't protect. You simply cannot protect. So, we're going to Terrasalize here. We're going straight after Fluttermane. Not dealing with it. Not looking to take a hit from it. So, I know I outspeed it. It's big time for us. Big, big time. There we go. Terrasalize and the bear. The bear bear. The build bear. Whatever you want to call it. The OP Mon from Regulation D. The Sword and Shield Legendary. He's here. He's coming in clutch. Isle of Armor Stud. Let's get after it. Dazzling Green's gonna fire. It's weird that you do outspeed me. I, 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 I was not expecting that. And now I lost the match. You outspeed me? Really? Can you miss your attack? Miss your attack. If Lando misses his attack, that's actually. Was this thing boost energy and I just didn't see it? Because I think it's quick. Outspeed my Chewy Scarf first, Phil. Let's see what he ends up going for. Sand, Sand Seer Storm ends up landing. Man, dude. Come on, man. We'll take that one on chin. We're one and one. Cleavor misses Stone Axe in the beginning. I feel as this outcome would have been a little bit different. And I was not expecting that Fluttermane to outspeed me, but it did. GG's to our opponent. Let's hop into our third. Let's look for a winning record. Final match on its way. Let's grab ourselves a winning record with the Cleaver team. Going up against another strong team with Fluttermane, who we just lost to. Moongus, Chiyu, Cresselia, and then Urshfu and Tornadus. I definitely want to bring in Cleaver again, but I don't know if I should lead it. Do I lead it? Kind of want to lead it. I want to have some fun. We're going to lead this Pokemon, so I'm going to end up leading him. I am going to lead it with... Do I lead it with the Tornadus? Or I could go Cleaver back end more so. I feel like that could work really, really well for us. So, you know what? I'm going to go in the Shen Pao Dragonite, bring Cleaver, and you know what? Urshfu in the back end. We're going to say Shrew Tailwind. We're not rocking out with it. Let's get after it. Let's do it. Let's do it. They might even end up leading Crest, right? They might think we're going into like a Tailwind full speed squad. So, they could lead Crest and maybe try to pop a trick them, but probably not, right? That'd be very risky. That'd be high risk, high reward kind of play, you know? But that Gold Duck just stared into my soul. I don't like it. I don't like it. Gold Luck just stared into my soul. Let's see what they end up going into. It is going to be Fluttermane and Tornadus. So Fluttermane, Tornadus. Um, Sucker Punch is going to be good. Going to do some big time damage. We do have Sash. Uh, I think we do Terrastalize the Dragon. I feel like we have to, right? Get that normal type going. Sucker Punch can fly. We'll Terrastalize. We will E-Speed. Considering we're choosing into a normal move. I mean, we have a choice ban. We might as well choice into the terror type and get off some big time damage. So he ends up withdrawing Tornadus. Okay. Into whom? Into Cress. So Cress is going to come out of here. Um, I mean, that's fine. That's not that big of a deal. And we're going to get after it this way. So it's either they take some big time damage from Sucker Punch from Shen Pal. Or they Terrastalize, take a little bit, and then we can just E-Speed finish it off next turn. But I don't mind what we're saying. They end up bringing Crest and Tornadus, which is kind of weird, right? It's kind of weird. E-Speed's going to fly here. Not doing any crazy damage. Just Cresselia. Actually, it should do decent damage. Yeah. I like that damage. And Sucker Punch is going to fly into the Flutter Main slot, which oh, almost KOs. Just an inch short. Just an inch short. So from here, is Crest leftovers? That's the real question, because another E-Speed can KO it, which would be big, big time. It is left. Um, do I double down into it? I think we just keep Fluttermane under control here. Even though it might protect. It probably is going to protect, but I said we just keep it under control. It does not protect. It's weird. 
That's weird. That's weird. That's real weird. So I E speed. Yo, did you guys see that? And now ally switch comes out. Okay, that's weird. And that actually works out fine. But did you guys see that? The HP bar went back to full and then back down. That was weird. That was definitely weird. This thing lives on one. I don't think we're sitting in a terrible spot. Because I can now just bring out Urshfu and double first turn priority. That's cool. East speed can come out before ally switch, before anything else. Aqua Jet can finish off the other thing. I mean, do I even have... Oh, I don't even have Aqua Jet. Why don't you have Aqua Jet? You're not going to be able to outspeed. I have to go into Cleavor. Cleavor. Okay. We'll figure this one out. We'll do this one. So we'll go Cleavor here. I'm going to go for a Stone Axe. Do you think they're going to ally switch? I mean, probably not because E-Speed's going to come out here first, so. That's fine. We'll do this. That's fine. The Fluttermane just ends up protecting. That's fine. We're going to get rid of the Crest. And we will go from there. So he's just leaving me to hit free E-Speeds onto his next Pokemon. It kind of sucks. I can't faint. I can't faint that thing because it's a ghost type. So they do go into a Pokemon with like fake out or something. Or like a first turn priority move to take out my Dragonite. I could quick guard it. Could make that play. But we'll see. We'll see. So how comes this is gonna be Chiyu? This is gonna be Chiyu. So no first turn priority. That works out pretty well for us. Um I do have to get rid of this Fluttermane though. This thing's a problem. And I'm just gonna E-speed down the Chiyu. So Chiyu ends up protecting. I don't mind that too much. They still have Terra. Probably gonna take out my Dragonite here. Let's Dragonite can soak. Dragonite's a bulky boy. And he's gonna end up Moonblasting me and just finishing me off. Okay, so smart play from him. So from here, I get rid of Fluttermane, and we know the final Pokemon is Tornadus. We know it's Tornadus. The Sonax flying here. Oh, this one's gonna be close. Hurting my hurting my head thinking about it. So get rid of you. We got the bear bear in the back end. He's gonna he's gonna tailwind up. Um He's definitely gonna tailwind up, correct? I mean Leakwind Storm's an option here too. Thrasilization's an option. Uh Hmm. We probably stone axe this thing down, correct? Just get rid of you. And I got a choice into. Ooh, you could be ghost. You could be ghost. I can't decide. I'm gonna stay with Surgeon Strikes. Because you could be ghost with the Terra. It can get real. It's either ghost or grass. I mean, I, I don't know. I really don't want a choice to move that I can't do damage with. So let's see. Ghost? It is ghost. Good call on our end. Good call on our end. So it ends up terrestrializing the ghost. I was gonna go into the close combat. I was thinking about it. So sticking with Surgeon Strikes is awesome. This might KO. Ooh, that's kind of close. Come on. Big time damage here. High rules. That's going to KO. That is going to KO. Big time. Urshifu OP. So great call for us not to go into close combat. That would have just lost us a match. But Chiyu goes down here. Stone actually just cleaned up the rest of this match. I don't even see Bleak and Storm KO on any of my Pokemon anyway. So game set match. Jeans is taking it. Taking it to the house. Taking it to actually hold up. If I miss the Stone Axe, I'm gonna cry. I'm gonna cry. Then Cleaver is never to be used again in rank battles. Yeah, Cleaver. Ah, man. Pots and pans. Getting rid of that thing. Clutching up. Give him the MVP crown. Actually, it might go to Urshfu. Let me know in the comment section down below who's getting MVP crown, Cleaver or Urshfu. The Cleaver team showed up and showed out in today's video. 2-1, grab ourselves an awesome winning record. Almost won ourselves the second battle and grabbed ourselves a perfect record. But hey, we'll take that loss on the chin and take a 2-1 record. But guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know when all of my videos go live. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spread this positive today. I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out, everybody.